In this video, I'm going to be designing a YouTube banner for my friend Jetstream. This is Jetstream's current banner, a very nice illustrated Club Penguin reference, but for this video, I'm going to be completely switching it up. Stick around until the end to see Jetstream's reaction to my design. Hello everyone, welcome back to another design video on NetP. This is part two in the Jetstream redesign series. Last episode we redesigned Jetstream's logo and it's his current profile picture. I'll leave a link in the description to part one, so check it out if you're interested after watching this video. Jetstream mentioned a few things he would like to see from the banner on call, so let's hop over to that. But before we do that, Jetstream also said make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Is there any re uh, reference to that or like the color scheme or anything that you're looking for? Like I personally love neon lights. Yep. I love glows. That's that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with Terraria because the lighting effects yeah, in that really game awesome, are it's gorgeous. <laughs> so yep. I, I wanted something similar for um, the banner. Okay, cool. um, so that banner, neon, yeah, lights. neon lights are huge. They're very pretty. For the banner, I guess I'll have the logo, the neon lighting setup, maybe a bit of uh, bit of artwork in there. We'll see how we go. Penguins flying in jetpacks in the background or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we go. All right, so let's get started on this banner. So to begin with, I wanted to create a background for the banner and I searched up some stock images of Antarctic mountains and glaciers and stuff like that and so I'm cutting them out using the magnetic lasso tool I wanted to replace the cloudy background in the original photo with a nice night sky backdrop because I believe it will contrast better if I'm using neon light aesthetic type things any bright vivid lighting effects will do really well or will become far more noticeable against a dark sky background so as you can see, I used adjustment layers to darken the photo of the night sky to add more contrast to that photo as well. However, the difficult part of doing this means I have to shift the mountains from being this pure white, essentially pure white, to uh, almost a rich black color. However, I would also have to add little bits of moonlight and starlight and, and purple light from the night sky so I struggled a lot trying to make sure that the lighting looked accurate and looked correct I ended up using the lighting effects render tool I probably could have done this method a little more effectively essentially just painting in the mountains but I wanted to keep the photo realistic aspect of it so I used some custom brushes to add a little bit of texture so so far my banner designs have been kind of realistic in the sense that this one's a landscape and last time for Wand of Sparking I tried to make the lighting effects realistic and all that sort of thing. I think in the future I'll potentially play around with more pattern based designs, um, just abstract stuff as well. However that was a little bit of a tangent. As you can see here I'm trying to create an Aurora design. Uh, this is quite difficult. I, I played around with literally just lumping an Aurora photo and compositing it in the background, uh, except it didn't it didn't work very well. I thought I would make an Aurora using Photoshop render effects. I saw a tutorial on YouTube for how to do that, so I'll leave a link to that in the description down below if this interests you and you want to copy my technique. Then I had to use the warp tool and the transform tool to sort of stretch it out as to how I wanted. And after that, as you can see here, I'm playing around with the color just to test how it would look in uh, pink and red instead of this dark purple. Personally, I'm quite a fan of the red, uh, but we'll see which one Jetstream prefers. Played around adding some more background effects. You can see here, I've, I've, I've added a, a rainy meteor shower type thing going on. So I think that looks interesting, but I figured what I should do next is add a constellation of Jetstream's or Club Penguin avatar, as you can see here, just as a little tribute. However, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't pleased with the result, but I thought I should still add in a constellation somewhere anyway. As you could see with the star brush, it was kind of difficult to distinguish the individual features of the avatar. So I went for a more simpler design and simpler brush, adding in just a penguin. 
Now we're going to do what was suggested on Call with Jetstream and add in some penguins with jetpacks. As you can see here, I cut out a stock photo of a penguin and I'm using the brush tool and some blend modes to adjust the lighting to match that of the image, creating pink highlights to show the aurora lighting up the far side of the penguin. And then I'm also going to be making a jetpack and adding that just behind the image of the penguin and I'm just matching the lighting across both objects. So you can see here that the penguin's a little more bluey purple in tone and I want to get it a little bit darker but also light enough that you can distinguish the form of the penguin. So I have to use a lot of blend modes, a lot of brushes and a lot of layers to make sure that I get the lighting accurate. Now that I'm pretty pleased with how it looks, I'm going to be making the jetpack trail. So I'm going to use a similar technique to what I did for Wand of Sparking when I made their uh, light trails or, or sparks. But the difference is I've chosen to do this on a separate document and just made it a white brush on a black background because currently the jetpack trails for this image are going to be curved, whereas the uh, trail here is going to be in a straight line. It's going to be in a linear fashion and that way I can just warp the trail however I need it and that way it's just a little bit easier to do because sometimes it can be quite difficult getting consistent gravity uh, if I wanted to make the trail curved originally. So we can see here that all I have to do is warp it and play around with the blend modes and some of the lighting effects to make sure that it looks like a nice rocket trail. Okay, so now it looks like we've got a penguin on a jetpack. And so considering I'm pleased with the result, the next part is actually duplicating the penguin. And that adds a little bit more balance to the composition, uh, making it less one-sided, you know, with the constellation on one end and then this side, you know, I've got, I've got something there to balance it out. And then just adding in the text and the logo. As you can see here, I originally attempted using the overlay blends mode, but I ended up thinking a solid color worked better. And then I also duplicated the rocket trail one more time to add it to the penguin flying next to the logo. So some final adjustments you'll notice I make is flipping the vector logo to face the other direction and making it solid color. So here we go. Hey, g'day Jetstream, how are you? Hello, I'm doing good, how are you? Good, thank you. You're, you're using the logo as your Discord profile picture, which is pretty cool. Are you, are you pleased with how the logo and stuff's been going so far? Mm-hmm. All right, I, I, I really like this. I love the uh, penguin and the stars a lot. Ah, oh. um, cheers. <laughs> that's super cute. So I, I think I like the first one the most. Yep. And it's because of the orientation of the penguin. Oh, you like that? Uh, you like that more that way? I do. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Do you prefer the red or purple? I'm trying to process this because like I, I like both. I I want to say purple, but that might just be because um, I have the penguin orient orientated in like that particular manner on the purple one. Yeah, okay. But I... I also, I like the colors in the purple a lot. They're all pretty strong in my opinion. Um, in this, in this particular instance, I, I think I like the top one the most. I like the second one as well. Massive thank you to Jetstream for being a part of this video. I had a great time recording it. I had a great time chatting with him. So make sure to check out his channel. Link is in the description. If you want to see me design the logo, check out part one. Link to that will be on screen right now and in the description too. I had a lot of fun making that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more logo design content in the future, please make sure to subscribe, 
My aim is to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the month. That would be really awesome if we could hit that goal. If you like this banner and are interested in having your YouTube banner or logo redesigned, I'm organizing an ABN at the moment so I can start taking commissions. Let me know in the comments or on Discord if you are interested in getting your banner or logo redesigned, and I'll soon make a video covering this topic. Then when the video is released, I will leave a link replying to your comments if you say that you would like your banner or logo redesigned. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Currently, I'm not making any money through YouTube ads, so I would greatly appreciate the support on there. Anyway, if you did enjoy, please consider sharing this video, maybe to the Terraria forums on Reddit, in the group chat, etc, etc, if you think you have friends that will enjoy it. That's all I have to say for today. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe with the notification bell on, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you all next time.